I know some of you are used to hard coding ABIs in your code, but that can be pretty inconvenient. I'm going to show you how to grab almost any contract ABI with the Etherscan API if you have the contract's address. If you're not familiar, ABI stands for Application Binary Interface and tells your Web3 library, like Web3 or Ethers.js, how to interact with a specific contract on the blockchain. Let's write a little function to programmatically grab ABIs together. Create a directory and cd into it. I'll name mine get ABI, but it doesn't matter what you call yours. Inside, initialize npm. And install both Axios and Ethers.js. Now create a file called getabi.js where we'll be writing our code. And open that up in your editor. Let's start by loading Axios and Ethers. Now we need an address for the token that we want to grab the ABI for. I'm going to find one on info.udswap.org, but you can pick an address however you'd like. Let's go for wrapped BTC. and the contract address is up here in the URL. So just copy that and add that to our code as a string. Now for this next part, you're going to need an Etherscan API. You can go to Etherscan and create one for free. And then we're going to interpolate our address and our API key. I won't give you mine because we should keep them private. And just set up your API key as another variable. Obviously, it shouldn't be an empty string. It should be whatever your key is. Now we'll create a function called get ABI. And we're going to use a sync await because we don't want to execute any more code until we get the response back from Etherscan. Here we're using Axios to make a request and we'll just pass in the URL. And once we have that response, we're going to parse the result out of it. And that result will by default be a string, so we'll call json.parse to parse it into an object. Let's print that here and run this program so far so we can see what the output should look like. And we'll call our function. And it should look something like this. Now that we have that ABI and we already have the contract address, we can initialize an instance of the contract. For this, we'll need a provider because we're using Ethers.js.
And for this, you'll need your Infura URL and your Infura API key. Again, I won't give you mine, but if you go to Infura, you can create an API key and get the URL for free and just pop it in here. And now to initialize the contract, we need the address, which we defined above, the ABI, which we dynamically grab from Etherscan, and the provider, which we just defined as well. Now that we have the contract initialized for wrapped BTC, we can do some stuff with that. We can call some public functions. Uh, I know there's a function called name off the top of my head. I also know there is a function called total supply, which will give us the total global supply of this token. And we can print those. Let's run this in our console. And we have the name here, wrapped BTC. Oh, and if we want to actually see the total supply, we need to call to string on that. So we'll call to string on total supply. And we'll give this another run. Nice. So we can see that this worked. We were able to programmatically get the ABI and then with that initialize an instance of the contract. We chose wrapped BTC, but you could have chosen anything. And then we called some functions on that contract to get the full name as well as the total supply of that token. That's pretty awesome. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I'd love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribed.